That's a big boy. Holy hell, man. Okay. Well, we are here at the final match of Pro Wrestling Mobile Chapter 7. And like I said, it is the final match. Therefore, it should be for the ultimate prize. It is indeed for that, folks. It is for the crown jewel of Pro Wrestling Malta. The PWM Heavyweight Championship is on the line. And our champion, Jack Quinn, man, he's a magician. You know, I've said it a couple of times, he can pull a rabbit out of his head. He can do that. And he doesn't even have a hat and all those sorts of tricks. But tonight, he's gonna need a freaking miracle, man. This is David vs. Goliath. And this time, Goliath, he's a, he's a bit bigger than on the bus. He's, uh, he's manifested here in front of us, this guy. He's a behemoth, a titan, Goliath, all rolled into one. This guy, he's not even a guy. He's a beast. And he could be our next PWM Heavyweight Champion. Oh, heck, man. I don't think there needs to be a warm welcome for this man. He has more than earned his stripes, he has more than earned that belt, he has more than earned his reputation. And that's why the people adore the magician Jack Quinn. However, it's all smiles right now as the team music hits and you know the glory is manifesting around him. You know, smell the roses, Jack. Absolutely, you have earned that. As the champion makes his way to the ring with the scepter of PWM resting in the palm of his hand, something that he has earned. I dread to say this, but there is a situation in the ring, Jack, and that situation is in the form of this giant. It's in the form of Bullet. This could be one obstacle that's just too strong, too big, and just overall too much. Even for you, Jack. I know you're gonna give it to your all. You're gonna give it your all. There's nothing I'm gonna say from this announced table from anywhere. Nobody can tell you anything from anyone. From trying your best to overcome this and become the absolute pinnacle of what an underdog is. But that's the reality. You are an underdog. Champion or not, size is size. Reality is reality. Jack Quinn is going to depend on his technique. He's going to depend on his speed. And he can definitely depend on his experience. Because he's definitely fought massive beings before. But Bullet, like I said before, he's just a tad bit too much of him. Even though he's not exper as experienced as previous opponents, strength cannot teach that. He can smell the roses, absolutely he can. He can show off, yes he can. He's the champion of Ryan Galco, of course he has the privilege to do that. However, once that bell rings, and it's only in a couple of seconds, it's war. The survival of the fittest. And the survivor will be the world champion. said Jack, will you earn one more strike? Will another opponent fall into the list of your countless title defenses? Or will that list be shredded right here? This bullet right now just looking down. 
and not just Jack Quinn. He's looking down at the Maltese, but even look down at the cameraman. He disapproves of everything right now. This guy is as cold as they come. This guy is absolutely just has one a one track mind, a one track mission, and just a one track just just style. It seems like he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a cyborg, man. Seriously. I feel no human consciousness within him, and that's bad news for Jack Quinn. And, oh, man, come on, Jack. You really, come on. You really wanted to go for that? You really wanted to go for a little test of strength against the man that overcomes you, just overpowers you instantly? Just by looking. Come on, come on, Jack. Second, depend on your technique, depend on your speed. Depend on out maneuvering here, but don't do that! Oh man, what do you expect? Even a kindergartner can basically tell you what the result would have been. I'm gonna try again, man. You're gonna have the same result. You're gonna, that's the definition of insanity. Okay, like I said, technique, the headlock, but again, he's trapped. Look at those forearms and the bicep. He had Jack trapped and. Seriously, come on, man, don't do that. If that doesn't work, we're doing it again. Check. Look at it, once more, and then... Jeez, man, he hit him so hard. The frame rate almost dropped. Oh, he nearly tripped, he nearly tripped him. And that's what I'm talking about right there. That's what Jack Wood should be doing right now. Find a way to chop down the giant, not face him. Arm to arm, limb to limb, man to man. No, we're getting it's impossible, Jack! Depend on your speed, depend on your technique, but right now, because you went for the daredevil attitude, this is the result, Jack. Come on, you won the championship, you want to beat the champion for one more! Oh! I was gonna say the champion, but I don't think he'll be a, a normal human being with a broken spine if this continues. Jeez, man, look at that. Now, this is, this again, I hate to say it, this is the result of Jack's, I guess, Overconfident, trying to challenge this man to a test of strength. And oh man, then. Jeez, he ducked. Thank God, otherwise he would be squashed like a pancake. And duck underneath he goes. That's right, Jack. Jack, for Christ's sake. There you go, that's what you need to do right now. Oh man, I'm just feeling a bit for Jack. An insecurity, but doesn't even knock the beast bullet down. Jack went realizing this is not. Frantic. This is not the, the petty evil genius. What is he being of evil genius? This man is playing absolute. You know what this is? Amazing. He's making the monster think. He's making the behemoth search. He's making the behemoth question. Jack, though. Jack. Jack. I think he spotted you. The hunter has finally caught his prey. Why move? Vice versa. Jack Quinn with those trademark cards just bamboozled him, but it didn't knock him down with his feet. Bullet still standing strong, like a statue made out of titanium. He finally got on his knee, and now Shining Wizard, no! A black hole spinning out power bomb. Jack Quinn got caught, and he got sped upside out. Inside out, upside down, whatever you want to say, Jack Quinn is down for the count. Decapitating his head off. That nearly pierced his entire chest! Somebody call SpongeBob because we got ourselves the new best fry cook right there. And on the menu is the skin of the champion, the flesh of Jack Quinn. Absolutely being decimated right now with no remorse from Bullet. No mercy from the future possible world champion right now. As that's what I'm seeing right now. Joe, oh! oh, man, he's trying to make him choke on the cards. He's trying to absolutely humiliate Jake on top of beating him. But there's no worse shame than losing the championship. Now he's got more of those stacks and instead, like I said, he's tossing Jack around like he is a stack of cards! Oh! Snap suplex, snapping the nape and the back and the spike! He's been 
getting set up for another one, is he? The worst part is there's nothing Jack can, can do about it. Maybe he can't, no! He can't. So this is what I call brutal. I mean, this is a brutal reality check. And you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Jets only hope could be a disqualification. An, an intentional disqualification, yeah, for sure, but. But just look at this! I've never seen Jack win absolutely demolished like this. But like I said, this might be just too much for Jack in terms of strength and raw power. And that headbutt. I don't want to talk about Titanium. Yeah, there you go. And again, the official has to do his job and count. And Jack, hey, hey now bullet, yeah, you're risking. Oh man, there you see, that's the opening window, and he shut it down. He shut it down instantaneously. Can I say what? Can I say? Nothing. There's nothing I can do to describe to you the absolute whiplash that Polish just, just delivered onto Jack twice this time. Twice! The spine must be bent. I don't know. I don't even know how Jack is still on his feet. Thankfully. I was gonna say, thankfully, still on his feet, but I don't know if I'm gonna be so grateful for that anymore. Maybe Jack will shoot just then. Oh my god, look at that! The turbulo pad just came flying off nearly! And the crowd. I mean, yeah, Jack Winister here, Jack Winister underdog, but underdogs. That's, you know, the definition of an underdog is somebody or any being facing an absolute uphill battle with the lowest chances of winning and this is the case right here being presented to us and now look at that look at just, just antagonizing everything finally thank thank the crew right there that's the only thing they can do and just fix the turnbuckle pad over there but there's no way they can come here and try to fix jack's face at the end of the night oh thank thank the lord they did it right on time if that thing wasn't there Jack's career might have been over. Actually, if you believe all the matter of time before it's over right now, this continues. I have a bad feeling that this will indeed continue until we have a new world champion. It will continue. Irish ship after Irish ship. The spine will meet the post, and the post will break the spine. Eventually, Jack will collapse along with his title break. Oh, what a kick! 
man with the landing! Whoa! Straightforward moonsault! And no! Oh, wait a second! Quinn! 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 He has him centered! Shining! Wizard! He hit it! He hit it! And he retains! Somehow, some way! Quinn! Chapter in the reign of Jack Quinn.